Hey guys, my name is Kia and I just love to eat, laugh, and listen. Welcome. I posted my Instagram stories, guys, just ask me anything, so I'm just taking this video to answer those questions. So, I have the questions in front of me, and let's go through them. So, the fart, the fart one, <laughs> nerd bowl. The first one is from Spartan underscore EZZ, Spartan Ads, hello. Uh, what's your nationality? I'm American. Uh, but I'm guessing the question usually is about more so my ethnicity. Um, so my nationality is an Ameri American. I live in the States. Um, I was born in the Philippines and Filipino is my ethnicity. Um, Icar760, are you vegan? If so, for how long? Yes, friend, I'm definitely vegan. I've been vegan since July 2017 uh, because I was doing a bodybuilding show prep and I started to investigate into food and food sources, food treatment, those kind of things, and I just couldn't contribute to the animal cruelty for myself anymore. So that's when I became vegan. Terry Berry Love, why are you so beautiful? Teresa. It's because I'm surrounded by beautiful souls like you. <laughs> You're so sweet. I hope to see you at the gym. You and your cute clothes. Um, Want.grind.get um, why do you what do you suggest if you can't work out for a week? So that's a good question. So I'd have to ask you, what's the reason you couldn't work out? Is it because you're sick? Like, do you have the flu? Um, if so, then use the following to just recover. Sometimes our body just needs off time, honestly. Um, if you can't work out because maybe you're busy or maybe you're in the office all day, every day, do some things just to keep you active. Walk around, do some push-ups, do some air squats. Um, do anything that requires, that gets your blood flowing, your, your body moving a little bit. Um, so it, it really all depends. Now, if, for example, you were just, you could work out but you chose not to and you feel like you need to make up for it, if you think you can do a double day safely, then do it. Listen to your body and see um, see how you think it'll respond. If you think it'll um, really put you in a place where like you might injure yourself, don't do a double day. Um, but at the end of the day, if you miss one week and you've been diligent the rest of the time, one week doesn't really matter unless you're nearing like a bodybuilding show or something like that. So I wouldn't stress about it too much. Listen to your body and see what it's, we'll see what you think is going to be best for it. Like the other week I was traveling, I barely got to work out. I didn't do any double days. I just gave my time, my body some time to rest and heal because I was also just very tired from, from traveling. Um, Shell Stro, what does the apple cider vinegar do? Why drink it? So uh, in my Instagram story, I think I posted this one time where I put some water in my mouth and put apples for that cider vinegar in it and then I swallowed it. So there's a, a bunch of reasons. First guys, don't take apple cider vinegar straight up, dilute it. It's really acidic when you drink it, so it can eventually corrode your teeth. Uh, so make sure to dilute it. Um, there are a bunch of studies and you'll see a bunch of articles that may lower blood pressure, uh, blood sugar, not blood sugar, maybe blood pressure as well, blood blood sugar, um, that it can help uh, make your body a little bit more alkaline, um, that it just helps kill like unnecessary bacteria, it's um, all these different things. Um, why I personally drink it in the morning is because it helps my body, my gut to just start digesting and like moving things along in the morning if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but if you guys do... Uh, drink apple cider vinegar. What I would suggest is when you go to the store, get this stuff with the mother. The mother is this like solidish looking thing and it's basically the, the bacteria that makes the vinegar. Um, a lot of times you'll see apple cider vinegar without the mother in it. Um, and they probably just took that from uh, another container that had mother and just kind of poured out whatever it made and left the mother somewhere else. I know it sounds, sounds, sounds so strange, apple cider vinegar is mother, mother, mother. Um, but it means that the, the one that you're consuming without the mother is probably less um, effective. So try to find the one with the mother. I'll try to find a picture and put it here somewhere. This is 
the one I have at home. You see, it has mother. Mother is that stuff at the bottom. Sometimes you'll see the mother is even like denser and like an actual patty of mother. Um, and what do you think about using CBD oil for recovering from a workout? So CBD, guys, is cannabinoids. Cannabinoids comes from the hemp plant. It is a legal, a legal, a legal substance, not an illegal, a legal <laughs> substance. It is non-hallucinogenic. Um, you don't need a medical card to get it. You can get it anywhere in any state. Um, cannabinoid is known to, according to some research, uh, to start to repair um, muscles. It helps. Um, I forget what it was, but anyways, there's this one documentary that I watched on Netflix, and I did a little bit more research on it too. There was this girl that would have rolling seizures. I think she was having like a hundred seizures or so every day. When I was a kid, I was actually. I accidentally, I also fell on a marble floor and I had seizures too. Um, but so this little girl, that event, mine eventually got cured obviously, but this little girl would have rolling seizures and she couldn't, she took all the meds that doctors would prescribe but here and there everywhere, right? And then she eventually got onto cannabinoids, which is non-hallucinogenic. It's not a, oh, like a get me high kind of drug. Um, and her seizures stopped pretty immediately. I'm getting goosebumps because it, I can just only imagine what that family went through. So the question is, what do I feel for it um, for recovery? So there's a topical kind of CBD, and then there's the oral kind of CBD. I've never found topical kinds to work for me, like to target a particular pain or anything like that. Maybe I didn't get the right kind. For the oral kind, I do find that it somewhat helps, but I haven't done like an A-B comparison test to say like, oh, I injured my shoulder in the same exact way twice, and so one time I'm gonna take it with CBD or try to cure it with CBD, and the other time I haven't. Um, I don't think it hurts um, to use it. Um, so if you wanna try it, go for it, and if you like it, use it. If you don't, don't. Um, I do have CBD at home when I do have an injury. I haven't been injured for a while. When I do have an injury, sometimes I'll take it just to see, uh, maybe it'll work, but it's not like my my holy grail or anything. My method for usually kind of just recovering muscle is actually um, trying to sleep, drinking a lot of water, um, Epsom salt baths, um, uh, making sure I'm taking my amino acids, making sure that I am also putting heat or cold on it, depending on what I think is gonna be helpful and during whatever therapy exercises I need to do. So that those are kind of my go-tos. And I also um, take magnesium as well, just to help me sleep, um, and to help also do that recovery. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any other questions um, related to these or if you have any questions that I didn't answer, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If there's something in particular that you want me to cover, anything, just let me know, put it in the comments below. If this kind of video is helpful for you guys, let me know by hitting that like button. It helps me to, to know that I should keep posting these kind of series in Instagram and asking for your questions. Um, and if you want to see more content from this mug, hit that subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time this baby gorilla posts a video. And if you guys aren't already following me on social, feel free to do so. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. See ya. You think with a pencil skirt, I'd be wearing some heels or something. <laughs>